Hello? Hello? It's me, Maroonies. This is the behind the scenes film for, <laughs> for my upcoming film, Mabon. My upcoming film, Mabon. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Now give us a stab. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that was hugely reassuring. I cannot hold this for longer. And then now someone's filming me. You can have the camera in front of your face ish. So I will be about here. And you'll be coming towards me and you'll be doing the net the same way. Okay? So we are on the beach, first shot of the shoot basically. Um, we're on Harlet Beach and our first shot is kind of following the uh, drag marks in the sand. And the camera will follow the drag marks. You only see the drag marks basically looking down. And then you slowly pan up to see the end of the rope, uh, the end of the net, sorry. And then we'll catch up to Mabon and we'll see his feet and his hands dragging the, um, dragging the nets up off the beach. It's kind of like a bit of a, I guess, like a cornerstone shot of the of the film, really, because the imagery of you know Mabon taking these great big nets up um, off the beach is quite powerful, I think. It's something that tells the story really nicely visually. Bullied already. <laughs> yes, it, it is. is. You can look at it back for now. Big map on. Yeah, it's just a skinny. Okay, I'm going to start where Chris is now. You start where you are now. And then you're going to run down here. Yeah. Run down to where Bush is. Yeah. Then round the corner to where we said you were going to run before. And then down to the line, remember? All right, yeah. All in one, all in one go. Okay. <laughs> Come down to this little bay on day two of shooting, and we have been shooting some more underwater uh, scenes uh, with Mabon. This is where he goes and explores and um, uh, snorkels. So we came to find a few fish and uh, go out with Mabon whilst he snorkels, uh, which is one of his favourite things to do when he's down on the beach when he's not doing the beach cleans. And now we're getting some more bits and pieces. Three! <laughs> You're pulling faces? Yeah. See, it looks like I hit you on the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a bra! I'm going to put it? it on Jack. You're going to put it on Jack? Jack! <laughs> Jack, I got you a top! <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> Should I try it on? Yeah, please. Yeah. He's got goals. Look at me! What do you reckon, my boss? Good! <laughs> Lady! <laughs> so once everything had been shot and Jack had finished the edit, he sent everything over to me and it was time to start the sound design.
so I started out by listening to the audio on the footage and deciding what was usable and what wasn't and which bits would need foley. I had to recreate the sound of Mabon's footsteps because the audio captured along with the shot just wasn't usable, there was a bit too much wind noise and that kind of thing. So what I did was I went to Soundly, which is an online sound database, had a listen to some of the footstep sounds that they've got on there, and then I settled on this one. I dragged that into my project, cut it up to match Mabon's footsteps, and then I EQ'd it to make it sound a bit more like sand, and this is what we ended up with. So when it comes to sound design, you quite often need several layers to get something sounding just right. So for example, in this scene where Mabon's in space, there's actually five different elements coming together to make the space atmosphere. Um, you've got this low rumble, a sonar ping, some sort of computer spaceship interface sounds, and some wind chimes to accent the stars. And all these things come together to make the whole atmosphere sound. So after I track laid all the sound effects that I wanted, it was time to go into the mix, which is where you adjust the levels of the audio and make sure everything is clean and sitting together nicely. So the first thing I did when I started the mix for Mabon was just clean up the voiceover a bit. This is what we started with. I find pl plastic bottles and rope and ghost nets. It sounded pretty good, but there were a few things that I wanted to change. There was a bit of a hiss in the recording and there was also a bit of echo from the room and the levels were a little uneven. So I used some denoising and de-reverb plugins, plus a little bit of EQ and compression, a few other bits of cleaning up, and this is what we ended up with. I find pl plastic bottles and rope and ghost nets. It's just a little bit smoother and sits in the mix a lot better. So I then mixed the rest of the sound and um, there were a few chances to get a little creative. So for example, in this section. So this was a fun little bit of sound design that I decided to include in the final mix. Um, so in this scene, Mabon's shouting through his megaphone to tell people to not throw plastic in the sea. Um, and I thought it would be fun at this point if it sounded like the voiceover was coming from this megaphone. So um, this was the original. I'll tell them to not throw plastic in the sea. And then I added a delay, a reverb, and made the whole thing sound like it was coming through a speaker. Um, and this is what it sounded like. I'll tell them to not throw plastic in the sea. So yeah, with the mix finished and all those parts coming together, that was it for the audio post-production. Hi, Wild! Hey, Drew Wild! Thank <laughs> you. 